Hello, YouTube, and welcome back in. Uh, we are doing stuff and things, which is, you know, civ, civish, it's civish. We're uh, we're 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 building settlers. That that we're in expand mode, and uh, yeah, here's here's one. Don't yeah, don't think there's error score for settling this, so not too worried about it. Get started on. If I could lock in a district, I would, but I can't, so I won't. I would buy them that three uh, three two one tile as well, but I might want to save this gold. So what I'm thinking, we're winding, we're about to go into a heroic, right? We have got six turns. Uh, one one issue here is we'd really 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 like to find where feudalism is. Um, <laughs> that would be nice, and uh, and and get there so that we could get some monumentality plus feudalism synergy going on. And that's I think what I'm gonna save my gold for at this point. Not working on wonders. Uh, there's nothing that we're really gonna miss out on by just kind of holding holding a, a pile of gold and faith for that purpose. What are we gonna do on government buildings? We're gonna do uh, audience chamber. Someone took Nan from me. Do we care? I mean, most of our cities have fresh water anyways. It's just this that doesn't, so I don't really care. Not, not now. Late in the long run, we may. There's the pyramids, you jerk. I wanted those. He's working on Chichen Itza, so that's good to know. You can probably just ignore that. It's rude. You're being rude and hurtful, and I don't think you need to say any of this to me. This isn't necessary. Why would you try to hurt me? just how she flirts she's the she's me she's being mean to me on the playground hmm hmm stands to reason So we're about, we have two for about to have six cities. Is it too late to think about Colosseum? I know that we had mentioned that briefly. It may not be too late. If the AI is just ignoring it, that's really good for us and we could maybe grab it. Good. I'll hold on to some of our Diplo favor. We may want to win Congress. Uh-oh. We're going to want this Eureka eventually, right? And I'm a little scared about barbs now. Victoria stream sniping. Kinda. I haven't planned their districts yet. Like this would be Coliseum area. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we'd be looking at this. Changes this from a five to a uh, <laughs> add in what four more is the plus nine theater square. Is that good? It's 
So do we do that then? Just go for it. I say the most imp important economy is early game. Culture. Briss. Or Bree. Bree Briss. It's culture. Uh, your early your early civics tree timings matter in every single game. Getting to political philosophy matters. Uh, just getting to better governments and better policies um, makes a makes a pretty huge huge uh, difference there. I should get a, a builder then to do this, and then probably bring Magnus up there. See, he's, look at that. That's a reach. That's a reach. So if I want any of this land, I think now is the time. Look at all these seaside resorts that could exist here. Eventually. Yeah, culture is nice for border growth too. Yep. Which is effectively like building gold, right? Because it saves you money buying tiles and stuff for, for placing districts and just to work and chop. Does it get repetitive faster? There are a lot of different possibilities. So only watching you, um, we, there are three major expansions out for this game. And then we're also in month whatever of what they're calling Frontier Pass, which is basically a monthly update that's providing game modes and quality of life upgrades, new civs, things like that. Um, because of the game modes, the replay value has gone through the roof. There was already a ton of replay value, um, but the replay value has truly gone through the roof with the uh, Frontier Pass, in my opinion. So, yeah, I, I would, I, to answer your question, tons of replay value in this game. Tons, tons, tons. Alex, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for the 28 months. I, I, again, I was saving my gold, but this is Eureka. So we get to figure out where, where, where these are, right? Mercenaries and machinery. Um... Mercenaries? Where's my mercenaries? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh my goodness. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for the Prime. Thanks for coming back for so many months. Uh, so is this just bugged? Like, what? what is going on here? Huh. I guess we don't have mercenaries. I've I've heard of people having these little bugs. It's just not here. Civics sometimes disappear. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's making me panic a little bit because I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I really don't know what to do with that. All right, two turns until our medieval age. Uh, we're gonna go from dark into heroic, which will be nice. We can start putting this faith to use. Hopefully we start getting more faith via our monuments and holy sites, which will be right around. We just we just triggered the Eureka for it. Vicky got great library. Grievances, are you attacking a city state of mine? You jerk. That's fine. So he's killing stuff. All right, barbs. Yes, I want to set up position and start to deal with these barbs. We'll have a little cohort of units to take out barbs that are happening down here. Uh, in the meantime, we're about to unlock our outback stations. Half housing. Oh, man, I'm going to go crazy on those. And then I really think I like the idea of this just being a... Like just build all the woods here, and then just get na get seaside resorts and like a big national park. Uh, 
So where's the city go then? A little bit of loyalty, right? But we're going to go into a heroic. Everybody else is in a golden uh, minus Scotland. So that's... Uh, he'll have some pressure to us then. I, I, I triggered the Eureka, you guys. The problem is the tech didn't show up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like I, I, I saw the Eureka thing and I dismissed it. The problem is it's not, it's not in the game. Uh, weird nightshade. Okay, weird, 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 weird. So very much want to get this city still. I think it's behind political philosophy. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of this bug, too. I just, I mean, we're dealing with it, right? It's in the game. I just, like, does that mean that Mercenaries doesn't exist? Like, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We shall figure it out. Another scientific city-state down here. Another, or is it our first? That's our first. Okay, so in four turns, I'll have two more settlers... This one's coming down here. Eventually, I'll want these cities. Again, it's not a huge priority to me right now. So maybe this goes up that way. And then we'll have... Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine cities. So we're going to keep going with settlers for a little while yet. Because we could, we could easily get probably 16 cities. But that might be a little ambitious. All right, so into the golden we go. Grab your sunglasses, because it's going to get bright. It is now bright. Smack talk. Era score. Nice. The Lord made us all Starting with guilds. Actually, we timed that out pretty perfectly. Guild. Unbeknownst to us. All right, so with guilds discovered, so feudalism is somewhere. I thought that this felt like too few civics for a whole era. I guess I just have to hope that this is feudalism. Okay, so because we went from a dark into a golden, we get a heroic, which means we get three of these dedications instead of the typical one. Um, monumentality is a must. Penbrush makes sense, although we don't have districts. Uh, free inquiry doesn't really make that much sense, but Exodus doesn't do jack for us, right? I don't think you actually convert. We could do a little for science. Does anyone know? I thought you had to recruit the profit in order to benefit from the... Uh... I guess maybe that's not true. This is maybe worth four faith per turn. Is that worth grabbing? It might be worth grabbing over free inquiry then. Because I think it gives us four faith per turn, even though we didn't recruit a profit now that I'm talking that out in my head. Let's find out. So we're at eight faith per turn. Nope. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Man, I, this stuff, this kind of stuff just drives me nuts. How's my fancy draft last night? It was pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. All right. Good good catch on that. So I guess... I guess we'll see. Is there any way to queue it if, you, if you're not going through it? Seems like you can't do it. Okay. Uh, I guess we're doing this. 
can select it from the list. Ah, yes, indeed. Ah, okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. As long as I know how to navigate it, I'm not, I'm not as upset about it. So, I don't have a Petra planned. I just guess we just go through all this. I'll finish engineering. I'm not getting walled anytime soon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, chat. Yep, we figured that out. That's good. It's very bright green now. I think I want to settle there. Yes. Chat plays Civ 6. I would love that. How fun would that be? <laughs> Keep them both on hills defensively. 5% science in all cities for each type of improved strategic resource. Okay. That's not really what we want. How are we doing economy? Oh my god. Look at our look at our very poor economy. Very, very poor economy. Oh, and our secret society advanced, right? So now we can grab ritual, which isn't going to give us much, but I'll take it. We we know we're spending a point here in the long run, right? Um it's gonna give us like exactly what, two to uh, gold, science, and culture. So we'll do that for now. And then the next one is, yeah, that's where we get our relics of the void, but we don't necessarily need that. Um, okay. That's really sad. Okay, good to know about Exodus, by the way. We only get the uh, four profit points per turn uh, turned into faith. If we've founded a religion, and I, 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 something stuck in my head that I like vaguely remembered that from like the patch notes back in the day. Government wise, don't think I want the writer points. England has started doing those. Wow, Newton's already up. Twelve and fourteen per turn. That's a yikes. Um. Cap definitely needs districts. We're, we're super behind on that. I may have to take a break from settling um, just so that I can get those districts. Right? Three turns, mercenaries, like finish off that, get some districts down, and then like later on we can we can come back and settle like these cities or more. I still selected the dedication. Yeah, I'll just live with the mistake. It's fine. I don't think free inquiry is doing all that much for us. And I'm not going to reload for it. We did it for science, and we got slightly punished, but we learned something, and that's that's kind of all that matters. All right, so our first World Congress has triggered because we were in the medieval era. Uh, we have production towards buildings in a district. I have no districts, so we'll pick city center because I do have city centers. Um, and then they usually vote for no amenities, so let's Ban truffles. Usually the city center one works. Yep. And they banned Coco. Okay. Well, we guessed wrong on this, but we got this one right. One so we get a Diplo victory match. point. Not that we're going to need them. Um, all right, so that's where Machinery and Kilwa are. Send our scout down yonder. We expanded any tiles yet? No. Really would like feudalism. That would just be the best. I'll have our warrior meet our archers when we're a little bit closer. 
I want to stay on the hills. I have a feeling we, we're going to have a lot of barbarians to deal with. Might be a bit brutal. You're coming down here. And then one turn, yeah, we'll switch off. Let's get some districts so that we can start to economize better in the AI. Uh, it feels really bad continually, continually falling behind them. Continuously. There goes Chichen to Pachacuti. All right, so mercenaries, that gives us a policy switch. And hey, there's feudalism. So we still have 15 turns. Boo. What do I do then? I'm not getting a pop 10 city anytime soon. We don't even have the housing for it. Let's be done with settlers. Yikes. There's not much we can run here. That's particularly exciting. Yeah, none of these do all that much for us at the moment. I don't want to be building builders, though. I want to be building districts. So I think it's actually land surveyors. <laughs> it's either that or trade confederation for one culture and one science, which definitely doesn't feel worth it. This doesn't either. This at least allows me to lock in some districts and save production. Like for example, here. get the housing bonuses. I don't I don't benefit from any of the housing bonuses here. I don't have uh, cities that have two specialty districts, so there's really nothing to benefit from until we get those districts, as I mentioned. Uh, oh, Diplo League could have been interesting there for a second. We have three envoys. AI is so much better at being competitive here. I think I'll save them. I forgot about that city. Oh, man. My man. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Big Limb. Thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hey, a goodie. Uh, that's interesting. All right. Let's find these barbs. Now, if they're good, if they're, so it's, it's medieval era, right? So if these are barbs, swords, and crossbows, uh, we're going to have a major problem on our hands. And they're pretty likely to be that. Yep. Yep. This is scary. All right, district time. Let's start with our theater square. Let's get that one. Yeah, Coliseum, we're, that's what's coming next. I was hoping to have these builders before Coliseum so I can chop it all out, but what do you do? Set your course by the... Maybe worth it to buy like a three charge builder here for the two plantations that we're going to get. Yeah. 
Huey. We could also we could still do Huey here already. I got enough faith to buy builders. I've got yeah, builders are not terribly expensive. Oh, I have the, um, actually, don't need to put that. Well, I do. Act, yeah, I do. I have two things to harvest here. I could just override the tile. Because at this point, it's just food. scary barb situation down here. Improving our faith a bit now, though, and that's improving our culture and science as well, so that's nice. I suppose I should save those chops for the Coliseum proper. Let's get some builders, I guess. Maybe we should be running the builder policy. Need to hold this back long enough for my settler to get here and settle this city. That is what I don't want to see. Archers will wreck us. Expired. Let's redeclare that. Don't think I can do that again. Might lose this archer. We have a promo though, so if we don't, we'll be fine. Want Mommy. districts badly. I'd like to harvest that normally. We have two of five housing, but just want the, I want it. Hey, Brens, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Okay, working towards that. Okay. With Maggie here, I think it makes sense to just Let's get going. Let us get going. Start with our monument, though. Is it really only an eight turn build? For them that seems fast I 
wood that I could grab that. I think we I think we get here right in time. Right on time, but we're gonna need some more defense. Phew, boy. Oh yeah, fifty percent for the uh, Congress. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. It makes a lot of sense to be grabbing that stuff, huh? Even before this theater square is done, I think. Especially the housing. Guess I have to build the arena. We're the only entertainment complex on the map, meaning the AIs did not build entertainment complexes? That deserves a round of applause. Well done, AI. Well done. Arena is uh, 600 gold to purchase. So if I wait, uh, I need what? About nine-ish turns, eight or nine turns. So it doesn't really help us that much. And I can put this gold to use elsewhere. Like if I had the money now and I could start Coliseum now, maybe. But I don't think that's worth it here. Especially if nobody else has entertainment complexes. Not, not that I have a bead on all of their land, right? I don't know exactly what they've got going on, but... Temple. Sell Diplo favor. Good. but a plank. I'm just going to have to live with this as my same base, unless I want to go here. What would that do? No, it's just worse. We got there just in time, but that sword can wreck our city. So it's scary. Is this that same settler or that scout? I guess so. Candy. Candy is very interesting late game. I already have three archers. I got that boost a while ago. I guess this one should maybe come down and try to help with the uh, barb situation. But yeah, I'm probably going to have to spend some of that money to defend against these barbs too. Another reason to not do the uh, arena. Wow. Pachacuti built the Petra? Never see that one go. Hold our envoys. You want to trade? I might need that iron, actually. All right, let's just not trade. Hey, Dark. Dark Mark. Uh, this is a Seven Seas map. Seven Seas map. Uh, I don't remember what the other settings are. You can always go. So I'm going to upgrade to a sword here to um, improve our garrison strength. I think one sword assaulting across a river into a, into a brand new city with a sword there. Uh, should be okay. The problem's gonna be if other, if a bunch of other um, barbs come, and we'll start with walls. Again, barbs. Q 
Can you just explore? I'm so sick of managing you. <sighs> okay. Faith is starting to kick in. The taxpayer. All right, so policy switch here. This can give us housing, right? Civil prestige can work. Uh, thank you, Joss. Don't need this, I don't think. Uh, I would like to get some Diplo, some first envoys out here with Diplo League. But I don't have the two promotions, really. Well, I do have uh, Pingala. That would give our cap some housing. That's interesting. I think the builders are correct, though. We're, we're coming up on builders, and I'd love to time it out where we can use Ilkum in, into feudalism, which we have in, ten, in uh, 10 turns. Coliseum, uh, we're gonna. So we have 12 turns on this and 10 turns on this, right? So we don't need we don't need that until the the feudalism policy switch. Kind of running away. <laughs> Might need these to be uh, crossbows to, to get through all this. So we're about to... Okay, no. That's not fast enough. But this is going to be awesome. Really good campus coming down. Okay, Sally Forth. Really just looking for feudalism and then we'll start spending our faith. There's a very nice campus, a so plus six on that one. What do we do? I mean, building faith makes a lot of sense. If I chop this, this goes away from, I, I lose science here. So don't think I want to do that. So plan once tots is complete. We've got salty runbacks. We've got monthly, uh, we got monthly updates. Lots more Civ. Might start branching out um, into playing some magic on stream. I was thinking about doing like one magic stream a week. Like, maybe on Saturdays, like, add in a Saturday stream. That way we don't just take away from the Civ stuff. And it would give us a little bit of variety for those who want that. My number one focus is health-wise to begin, though. Um, should I just build the holy site there? I really like the idea of these districts enabling themselves. And then this can certainly get a district or a uh, wonder here eventually. So I think I'm going to stick with my original plan. It's a little odd, but I think it'll work out. We should really be taking advantage of that Congress, though. So I should get this first. Favorite card color in MTG? I'm a limited player, so my favorite color is whatever color is open. Uh, but it kind of varies by the set. Um, it kind of varies by the set. For example, I like blue in a lot of situations. Uh, but I also find that, like, sometimes uh, limited sets just kind of, like, I don't know. Sometimes blue just doesn't seem like it's for me uh, in some sets. <laughs> blue at I unsub. Like, like blue, like, again, it just varies. Like, it, like limited, like, the current limited format, I'm not really a big fan of the blue. 
Like I've seen it be really good and I know people are, are can can do it well, but I'm not a big fan. But like the last set, uh Aquaria, I really liked blue. I liked the sharks and stuff, so it is what it is. Boros for the win. Play a lot of Boros in uh in the new set, yeah. Or in in uh M twenty. Play green for your commander games, that's fun. Without mathematics. So here's how we'll do this. We'll have this guy shoot and hopefully continue to debate. We'll we'll move into, even though I don't need heals on this guy, uh, if I'm pretty sure he's going to stay in the garrison, this 10 extra combat strength is going to be pretty nice. Golgari and Orzhov are the only true faiths. I, I, I kind of force Orzhov a lot. I, I, almost, I, I almost always like Orzhov regardless of the set. Thank you, Thalia. Turn 100 save in the books. In the books. Oh, oh, but, 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 such good Australia districts. Who built this land? It's amazing. Best removal in the game and removal is winning. I, I agree with that. Red, red can have good removal too. And, and like uh, the green is really good in this current set, I think. But all, all the colors are fine. I'll, I'll play whatever. <laughs> exactly, Arkham. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we're hard teching feudalism. I just don't see us building farms. I, I don't even have outback stations yet, which I would really start to like getting. Um, yeah. It's kind of where we're at. So, six turns on feudalism. So, 106 for feudalism. Oof. Oof, oof. Finishing some obelisks is very nice. Yep, yep, yep. So our plan here has worked. Archers. All right. is a load-bearing buttress here. <laughs> it unlocks the future. Oops. Took some damage from this. Oh, running away, eh? Now who's the barbarian? Feudalism coming up. I would really like these cities. I almost want every city to be building a builder. We've got the policy card in. I should have done this a little bit earlier. Don't think I need these walls here anymore. I want builders, builders, builders. We also have a bunch of gold and faith, but I honestly might convert that into our final few cities, which perhaps I should have done a while ago at this point, but oh well. Where do I need these cities? Out of here, out of here. So it'd be fine to like faith by... Uh, settlers from these new cities, I think. That's like all of our faith, huh? Pretty expensive. I think I'd rather focus on our existing cities then. For now. Boop. Okay. Moving on. Bound overcome. buttresses was rewarded with era score. That worked out well. We know there's an archer, so I want to be a little bit careful about our movement. I want this archer to heal up and then this one to join us as well. Three archers and a sword, I think, can handle the medieval era barbs. Pantheon first. Holy buttresses, Batman. I know, right? Pachacuti, what you doing with a levied army? Are you at war with someone? You are. Oh, this wasn't a great levy for you, I have to tell you. 
Okay. <laughs> we have some choices. Uh, what? What do we go for? What looks interesting? <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Education? Just take the boosted one? <laughs> Which direction shall we go? Uh, like, where are you, computers? Where are you, Eiffel Tower? So what opens up the most... None. I know I'm gonna need it all. This sucks. God, this sucks. It's cool. We can build. We can build our quality districts. So the appeal on this tile is one. Chop chop wonder. That's one. So chop chop becomes two. We're just getting builders. So we have three, six, nine cities. Oh, trades. What the heck am I thinking? No more ignoring half the tech tree. <laughs> I don't think that's a selling point for me. I like ignoring half the tech tree. It usually works out well for us. So this was a hundred raw gold that you wanted to give us. I think that's fine. Yeah, so here's here's the moment when we can actually afford the arena, and it's almost done. So four turns on feudalism. We don't want any of these builders to be done before that, but I do want builders everywhere, even here in the cap. So we're building builders literally everywhere except for future Coliseum and here. Yeah, finish your granary and then do the builder. Mausoleum. It's interesting to note it, it was probably it was probably correct as it were to switch into uh, monarchy here. As much as I hate monarchy and I literally never run it. Um, just grabbing a bitter, bigger government for era score and even though there are extra military policy slots like I think it's probably better to just do that. But at this point I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll the dice and hopefully find uh Merchant Republic. Hopefully it's not too far. Oh, are we getting attacked from this? I think we are. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Carl. Uh, that that's kind of where I'm at with it, Sackman. Like I think I think probably on on lower difficulties this, this, this can be a very fun mode cuz you kind of have the advantages anyways, but it's feeling kind of miserable for our game. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and put a cut in the video here. We're quelling the barbarian insurgents. We are building all of the builders because we're about to unlock feudalism, which is going to give us two extra charges each. And we're using our builder policy to build them faster in the meantime. Um, I could even delay this like one turn. We'll see if I remember to do that when we get back. Uh, but we'll put a cut in the video for now. So if you've been watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.